Hello, this is Tim Oxley from 3E Innovative and welcome to our first tutorial on CMS Made Simple. In this tutorial we'll be covering orientation and basic page editing. So let's start by opening up our web browser. I recommend using Firefox for web development. Um, so this is just a clean install of CMS Made Simple. Your uh, website may look significantly different to this, but uh, the basic page elements will be the same. You'll have a menu and you'll have some content and you may have other various things around, the, uh, around your website. So um, what we're going to do is log into our admin backend. So uh, to do that, we need to go to whatever our website address is, forward slash admin. So I'm going to open up a new tab paste in my website address and type in admin to get to my uh, login for the back end. The details you type in here should have been provided to you by whoever set up your website or if you uh, installed the website yourself, uh, uh, CMS made simple yourself, they would have been typed in on the second page of the installation. So login. Um, and welcome to the CMS Made Simple admin panel. So uh, here we have, um, I do all my navigation through this menu here. Um, you may not have all these items, you may have more, you may have less. Um, it just depends on the permissions that you've been granted. Um, so the first thing we're going to do now that we're in our back end is uh, learn how to change our user password so, um, and username. So you can go to My Preferences, My Account, and we can change our password here so type in your new password get it right and password is changed so um, next thing we want to do is have a look at how CMS Made Simple handles the content on our pages so if we go to content and then pages um, we get a view of uh, all of the pages that are in the website <clears throat> and as you can see these items here correspond to these items here so um, you'll notice here we've got the page name the template that the page is um, using the type of content it is there's um, other types of content we'll discuss them in another tutorial um, who made the site who made that page whether the page is active or not. So if, uh, if you want to temporarily disable a page or permanently disable a page but you don't want to delete it, um, you can just set the page to be inactive and it'll disappear from our list of pages. So what this, let's do it to this default extensions one just to see what it does. Set it to inactive by clicking on the tick. Go back to our website, hit refresh to see our change. Always hit refresh and we'll notice that item is now gone from the menu. So um, if we click it again, it becomes active. So other things we can do here, we can set the default page for the um, website. And uh, this default uh, setting is the page that you come to when you first type in the, um, well, when you can navigate to your website address. So if I set the default page to at the moment the default page is home so we've typed in the address and we've got this website this page if I switch it to uh, how CMS made simple works are you sure yes go back here hit refresh we'll see our item appear again and we'll also see that we've um, <coughs> our first page that we've come to when we've typed in the address is the page that we selected as the default page. And you'll also notice there's all these other items that have appeared in the menu. And where they've come from um, is here. They are sub pages of item number two here. Um, and by clicking this little icon, it expands the section here <coughs> and allows us to see all the sub pages. Each one of these is a page in its own right, it's just hidden um, from view. Uh, and it has something to do with item number two here. So we can expand all sections if we're trying to find something. 
displays all of the pages, all sub pages, or we can collapse all. So the next thing we can do uh, here is also rearrange the ordering of the pages. So if we want to move default extensions to the top, we click that twice, and move up twice, click it again, move up to the top. Uh, it's changed, you don't need to hit submit because uh, it's used some, well, it's, it's made the change. Hit refresh, and we'll see default extensions appear at the top. So it's no undo button, you just got to reorder. But let's, because we don't have to click this three times, we've clicked it once, that's one too many. We can use this button here to reorder pages. And if you're going to do a, like a significant reordering, this is the way to do it. So if I go down, well, what do we want to do? That looks normal. Default extension, we want to move that to the bottom. So you just click and drag, and it appears down at the bottom. We can even switch these around inside it. Um, and I can reorder these individual items here as well. This is very cool, I'd have to say. Hit submit. Refresh your page. And you'll see that the ordering has changed. And these sub-pages have changed as well. So um, now what we're going to do uh, oh, we have one, one more thing you can do, you can delete pages as well. But you cannot delete um, a page that has sub-pages. you notice this one has a trash can beside it, but these other ones do not. Um, which the, the reason why you have to remove all the sub-pages before you can delete the parent page, which makes sense. Um, so, and to, if you do need to delete a whole bunch of sub-pages with the parent, you can use these checkboxes to select all of the items that you want to delete and use this here with selected delete. But if the, uh, back to the active thing, if you don't want to, if sometimes it's safer just to set things to inactive just in case you might need it later. So uh, a safe option is just to set it to inactive. But if you're sure you're never ever going to need that page again, um, hit delete, then hit submit and it'll delete all those pages. Um, and then once all these pages are deleted, you'll be able to delete the parent page. So uh, that's uh, some basic page handling. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll um, actually go in and do some basic editing on a page. So uh, thanks for listening. Uh, this is Tim Oxley from 3 Innovative.